here listening to you talk there you've almost taken what a lot of people are looking at as, as a negative of the club 85 going and you really sounds like you've turned it into a real positive about the opportunities that is now potentially going to be given that the the fact that you're you've got so much uh, support coming in that potentially we could get an even better venue with more more facilities if you like as you said about the rehearsal studios definitely definitely yeah yeah more, more facilities more, more space more freedom um and yeah gra- grassroots music venues two-thirds of the income of a grassroots mu- or, or the turnover of a music venue is wet sales mm. the other third which is the cultural side which is us isn't expected to make a profit in any of the grassroots music venues. I've been running this like that for the last 20 years. I haven't earned enough to be able to pay tax for the last 15 years. <laughs> um, so the thought of actually having a venue where the, the bar and the money that comes in from the bar uh, is all part of it would be a tremendous help. And it means we might be on a much better financial um, mm-hmm. platform. Um, having said that, if I hadn't had the opportunity of being here with, with, and not have to deal with running bars, buying barrels, sorting out insurance, sorting out uh, all, all the uh, energy brokers and all that side of it, sort of doing deals with, with breweries or whatever, if I'm uh, having jazz handling all that so I could just concentrate on running a venue has given me the freedom to, to create what we've created here, which I'm very, very proud of.